Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. I want my audience to know that Dr. Mark Kukanzola is here to help us as Americans as we come out of quarantine. We're finding that we may be a little bit heavier than before because obesity is a national epidemic. Dr. Dr. Mark, say it's not so. We're not heavier. We, it can't be. It can't be. I don't know. I guess you have to look around. Each community is a little bit different. But we know, Valder, that the national data is not good. We're not flattening the curve. Just last week, the CDC's most recent national stats show 40% of our U.S. population is obese. Not overweight, obese, which is kind of the next step. That's a BMI greater than 30. You know, if you go back to about 1990, you know, maybe a generation and a half ago, there was maybe 8 or 9%. So this is, this is uh, you know, unprecedented. And it's not just, a pandemic is a global problem. So this isn't just an epidemic, meaning local. This is the, the world is experiencing this. And we know that that obesity creates a lot of these other metabolic illnesses, which diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hypertension. And the people who are most uh, adversely affected by COVID have these comorbidities. So now's the time to kind of hard lockdown on the, on the causative factors that might make you more vulnerable, say this fall it starts circulating up a little bit more. You, you want to be prepared so, so you're not in the, your local ICU. Okay, so how has uh, trying to be safe by being quarantined or sheltered, how has that affected our, our diets and our eating habits then? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Valder, it varies family to family. Maybe there are some families out there who are using this as an opportunity. You know, they're sitting down at, and eating together. They're cooking together. They started a garden. You know, they're making relationships with local farmers and ranchers. You're there in Texas. You know, so they've kind of upgraded their diets. But quite often, you know, especially with the economic consequences of this, people are just going into the middle of the grocery stores and getting all the processed junk food. You know, this is white flour. This is added sugars. Eighty percent of foods in grocery stores now have added sugar, which could go by one of any hundred names. Vegetable oils. These are these refined processed oils that are also inflammatory. Those are the very inexpensive, shelf-stable, highly palatable foods, um, and they're comfort foods. And people are stocking up, and they're they're running off the shelves. You talked about obesity, and when you talked about obesity, you linked it to what was originally called when we started the pandemic underlying conditions. So you think we have more underlying conditions before we were than when before we were sheltered? Well, I don't think it's, it's changed that much. I mean, it takes quite a while to develop a chronic disease. Um, our country's loaded with a, the obesity pandemic, you know, was already here, you know, before COVID hit. Um, and there will be another viral pandemic, you know, maybe in five years, maybe in three years. So if our global population now is sick, so in America now, there's a large study out of UNC last year, only 12% of our U.S. population would be considered metabolically well. So that means our whole country now is completely vulnerable to this attack. You know, if you went back, you know, pre-World War II, most people were well. There was rarely any type 2 diabetes or cardiovascular disease. And viruses circulate, so we weren't so susceptible. We are very susceptible now for the perfect storm. And we're seeing that in many of these urban centers, and now it's kind of getting spread into the rural areas. And certainly communities of color, Indian reservations, you know, those that have the most economic needs you know, who are most affected by these metabolic illnesses and the financial side, you know, which makes people kind of make these easier, low-cost choices. I'm speaking today with Dr. Mark Cucuzzello. He practices family medicine in West Virginia. Let me ask you then, how do we make healthier choices? Because you're right. We're going to, well, I don't think we're even finished with this pandemic. We probably had part A, part B, and part C probably, but... If we do have to shelter at home, stay at home, work at home, how do we make healthier choices? Yeah, you're right. This is the COVID marathon, right? We're in this for the long haul. You know, so I've partnered with Atkins really to focus on the simple things, you know, hard lockdown on all those simple sugars, you know, know where they are, read the labels, white flour, processed stuff, eat real food. You know, these are balanced foods with fats and proteins. Our bodies need these essential fats and proteins. And these come from animal products. They come from eggs. They come from seafood. Get those colorful seasonal vegetables. You know, I've got my garden started. You know, it doesn't need to be fancy. Get out and move your body. You've got to walk. You've got to lift things. 
got to get in the sunshine. Drink water. You know, do not drink your calories. It goes right to the liver. So drink water. Keep hydrated and try to sort out your sleep. You know, try to figure out how you can work good, solid sleep. Because sleep is like that Swiss Army knife of health and affects our immune system adversely when we have poor sleep. It's all about building a more robust immune system. And that belly fat creates an adverse response of immune system. And we're seeing that with all the hospitalized patients. Before I let you go, I'd like you to tell my audience these need to be lifelong habits that they need oh, to have, right? yeah. Eat well, sleeping. Tell them once again, because I tell them every day, doctor. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is not a diet, you know, to, it's like maintenance, right? It's like if you're a car, you know, this Atkins.com's got some really good info, you know, how do you shop at the grocery store, simple recipes. This is joyful. Um, this is not restrictive at all. You know, feeling good is addictive. Waking up and feeling like you want to go exercise. After a good meal, you feel good. You know, after a junk meal, you want to sit on the couch and watch Netflix. So, yeah, you see it after Thanksgiving, right? You eat all these calories and the guys are, are sitting watching football, falling asleep. You know, the ladies are cleaning, you know, and then because um, they just ate, you know, a whole loaf of bread. But, uh, yeah, don't be that person. <laughs> it's, it's all okay. One meal at a time is how you, and if you go off the rails, get, get back on track. It's all good. Dr. Dr. Mark Fucazella, you're going to be my light of the day for your conversation <laughs> with me on the Down Your Baby Show. Thank you so very much, and thank you for the words that you said, because they're all so true. Thank you. No, thank you. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and The Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely.